question uh, is number 10 that was asked earlier. Let's take a look at this. Again, at any point, uh, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, put the X in front of your name. I still see some students not uh, responding. You need to put a check mark at this point in front of your name. Uh, Gary, uh, who else? Uh, Atoya. Okay, a couple of students still not responding. All right. Uh, this question was uh, solved before, uh, I believe, uh, during the previous sessions. Um, but we're going to take a look at them again. Uh, here we have uh, a word problem. A chemistry lab. Lab assistant wants to prepare uh, 10 liters of 48% acid solution. Okay, in stock he has 80% and 40% acid solution. So let's take a look at this. So if this is the 80% acid solution and if this is 40% acid solution, uh, if you add these up, you want to ultimately get 48% and we know we have a 10 liter here. You want to know how many liters of each in stock solution should be mixed to prepare the 10 liter mixture. So in this case, we're going to let uh, the amounts that we're going to use for 80% uh, be uh, unknown x or whatever variable you want to call it. Uh, so let's call let's call it n. Okay. So let's call this. Uh, if I use n liter, if I use n liters here, can somebody tell me how many liters do I use for a forty percent solution? in terms of n. It would be um, 10 minus x, 40 parentheses, 10 minus x. OK, uh, so you're saying the amount that we're going to use here would be uh, 10 uh, minus, in this case, n, because we call it n. So it uh, would be uh, 10 minus n. So the total amount is 10 liter. And I see uh, some questions in the chat box. Let's see. Somebody says 40 minus n. Uh, what, what did you get? Where did you get 40? The total amount is 10 liter, right? So it cannot exceed uh, 10. So it would be 10 minus n. Do you see that? Somebody entered 40 minus n. You said yes, OK. All right, uh, everybody OK with this so far? So now we need to set up the equation. So here we have 80% times n plus 40% times uh, 10 minus n is equal to 48% times 10. So that's the formula we're going to use. 80% uh, uh, would be dividing uh, 100 into uh, 80. That would be 0.8 n plus 0.4 times 10 minus n is equal to 0.48 times 10. Now if I uh, want to eliminate the decimal, I can multiply each term by a factor of 10. I can multiply each term by 100. If I do that, I would eliminate all the decimals. So here I get. Uh, 80 n 
plus 40 times 10 minus n is equal to 48 times 10. So here I get to distribute and multiply here. So let's write down what we have here. We have 80 n plus if I distribute, I guess 40 times 10 would be 400 minus 40 n is equal to 480 and just simply solve for n. Here you have 80 uh, n minus 40 n Okay, so one that you have a question, you just turned on your microphone. No? Okay, of 80n minus 40n will be 40n uh, is equal to, I can go ahead and subtract uh, 400 from uh, both sub's equation. So they give me uh, 80. So if I want to solve for n, I divide uh, both sides of the equation by 40. Once again, if you don't follow this, please uh, put the x in front of your name. So I stop. Uh, that would be 80 over 40 is equal to 2. And don't forget the unit. That would be 2, two liters. So you're going to use 2 liters of 80% and uh, the rest would be what we're going to use for 40 percent. Uh, this would be 2 liters of 80 percent. And uh, we have 10 minus 2. That would be 8 liters of 40 uh, percent. Okay, can I see a check mark front of your name uh, if you all can follow this? If you don't have a check mark or X front of your name if you still have any problem with this.